exchange eyes with God for just one hour And look upon this world and know of all its shame Could you accept the great number of excuses That's made each Sunday morning when the church bells ring we have news commentators and preachers who visit all parts of the earth telling of world situations. Newspapers carry stories of many problems yet unsolved. But our greatest problem seems to be traveling the short distance from our homes to the church. Everyone who does not attend has an excuse. And if you're among those who made an excuse last Sunday morning, let's hope that God will accept it. Or just suppose that you've turned down your last opportunity to visit with his people. Suppose you could change eyes with God for just one hour. And look upon this world and know of all its shame. Could you accept the great number of excuses? That's made each Sunday morning when the church bells ring. Just suppose that you're the mother of a young baby and you don't go to church. And your excuse is the baby would cry and embarrass you in the congregation and possibly irritate the preacher. Well, just suppose God should see fit to take away your excuse. All oh, you might hear a few complaints from those around you, and some may even wish that you would leave. But that little baby's cry won't irritate God. No, not in the least. Suppose you could change eyes with God for just one hour, and look upon this world and know of all its shame. Could you accept the great number of excuses That's made each Sunday morning when the church bells ring